Okay, so we're going to take a look at example three on page 89 of the workbook. Okay, and this asks us to give a formal proof that the series n over n plus 1 from example 2 diverges. This is the same example that we looked at in a previous video. Okay, what do we mean by a formal proof? Okay, well, a formal proof is really just a careful explanation as to why the series diverges. Okay, so we're going to take the intuitive argument that we gave in example 2 and just formalize it by using this theorem, the divergence test that we talked about above. Okay, so how does the divergence test work? Well, again, to use it, we have to convince the reader that the limit as n goes to infinity of the term in our series is not zero. And if we can do that, then we can conclude that the series diverges. That's going to be the structure of this formal proof that we write. Okay, so here we go. So we'll start with that limit. n over n plus 1. The tool that we used to take that limit was L'Hopital's rule, so it's important that we mention that in our proof, make that clear. Okay, we use L'Hopital's rule and that, by taking the derivative on the top and the bottom, turned this into the limit of 1 over 1, okay, which was 1, and then notice that that 1 is not equal to 0. Okay, so we have established the if part of the divergence test theorem, and therefore we can conclude that the series diverges. n over n plus 1 diverges by the divergence test. So that one sentence that we just wrote is our formal proof that this series diverges. Okay, notice that that wasn't long. We didn't have to do a lot of work. But there are some important features when you're writing a proof. Okay, so let's talk about just a couple of those. Okay, so one thing, when you write a mathematical proof, you want to use complete sentences. Okay, notice that the argument that we just wrote, instead of just being a series of calculations, it was a sentence. Since the limit is not equal to zero, the series diverges. Okay, another important feature of mathematical proofs is using notation correctly. Okay, and there I'll point you to a couple of things. Okay, so for example, it's important that we actually write that limit sign to make it clear that we're taking a limit. Okay, and also there. And also, when we mention the series, it's important that we write the summation sign to make it clear that it's a series that we're talking about. Things like this are important when you write mathematical proofs. And then finally, to mention the appropriate theorems that you're using. Okay, So it's an important feature of this proof that at the end of it, we said which test we use, the divergence test. That's what justified all of our argument. And Okay, and so the rest of this section will proceed kind of in the same way. Um, we'll be writing formal math.